Hey, three-time Olympic coach Greg Romero here, and today I want to talk to you about goal setting. First off, first things first, we have to determine where is your motivation coming from? Is it a negative motivator or is it a positive motivator? There is a difference. For one, if it's positive motivation, then that means you're going to be able to punch through the mediocrity frequency and ascend towards that success frequency and then stay up in that success frequency. Now, if it's a negative motivator, you're going to have a hard time coming from the bottom here, punching through that mediocrity survival level and trying to punch through towards success. In fact, when you hit this, you're going to hit a wall and you're just going to dip back down. Let's go ahead and illustrate this so you understand it clearly of what I'm talking about here. Let me record this overhead camera. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to establish three levels of frequencies, right? So down here we have, we call this rock bottom. Please forgive my handwriting. Or we can call this um, otherwise known as failure. It, you know, it's, it's up to you to determine what that means for you um, because you're going to have your epiphany and aha moment here. This one here, this is going to be called survival, like what you need. And of course, this can also be known as mediocrity. All right. And then over here, we're going to have this success category. All right. And so what we're looking at here, if we were to start on this axis here, okay, this is our starting point. If you were to say start right here, something may trigger you to take action. And now we're going to determine if it's positive or if it's negative. Let me give you an example. As it pertains to health and fitness, if one wanted to lose weight, a positive motivator would be moving towards health, moving towards being healthy for myself, my family, my friends, my world, my community, okay? That's moving towards. And if it's a moving away, a moving away would be more like, I don't wanna be fat anymore, okay? Or I don't wanna be unhealthy. Now, when it comes to a negative motivator, it's going to sound more like a don't. There's going to be a don't involved. I don't want to be fat. I don't want to be unhealthy. I don't want to be overweight. There's going to be the word don't. And don't is also kind of like a negative goal. So if it's a negative motivator, what's going to happen is we start to take action, right? You know, you start, you start exercising. You start getting on a diet plan. If it pertains to money where you don't want to be broke, Okay, then you start taking action. Oh shit, I need to get my stuff together. What do I need to do? I need to start making phone calls and, and see if I can get a job. How can I make more discretionary income? How can I just make more income, period? Because I don't want to be broke. And this is how it works. So you start taking all this action and you start you start working or if you're trying to lose weight, you know, you start exercising and you're getting all these compliments and your, your clothing's getting a little bit looser and you're getting a little bit more money in your bank account. And what happens is, if it's coming from a negative motivator, the unconscious mind says, great, you're no longer fat, right? You no longer are broke. So what happens is your foot lets off the gas pedal and you begin to taper and kind of nose back down into this rock bottom towards failure fairly quickly. And then what's going to happen is same pattern is going to come again. Oh, shoot, I'm back to square one. I'm overweight. Well, I don't want to be overweight or I am broke, I'm tired of being broke, I'm gonna take action. So you start taking action, start doing the hard things, taking lots of action, and of course, being a negative motivator, you're gonna dip right back down as soon as you come over here to survival mediocrity frequency, you're gonna nose back down. He is, if you can make it a positive motivator, set your goal to where I wanna be healthy, okay? And you can make that a lifelong aim where it's your North Star and you're always going there and you're always working on spiraling up and therefore it's it's a value, it's a belief, it's I'm always healthy, okay? And then you start taking action on always making healthy decisions and it works from an unconscious application and then it's always gonna work for you. And the way that works, you need to take action. You say, you know what? I don't wanna be fat, I don't wanna be overweight. However, I want to lose weight, I wanna be healthy and I wanna do it for myself, I wanna to move towards health I'm going to invest myself. I'm going to invest for the sake of my family, my friends, and my community. I'm going to do it in a positive manner. And what happens is you keep going, going, going. Of course, it's important for you to set goals. 
um, that are obviously above this survival frequency here. And so what happens is you can punch right through the survival, all right? And this is where you need to get real specific also, you know, how much weight are you going to lose? What clothing size do you want to wear? Maybe if you're a woman, you wanna go from, I don't know, an eight to a four. Of course, if it comes to money and finance, hey, you go from rock bottom, and you say, you know what? I'm looking and moving towards abundance. I want financial freedom. Hey, you may never get there, but you need to start creating an aim to where you start spiraling up and you get towards and past the survival mediocrity and you start operating in this success parameter, this frequency, right? And so successful people are creating positive goals or doing it for good reasons and they're operating in this success frequency. And, and really at the end of the day, this is the difference between, again, a positive motivator and a negative motivator. Know the difference, be the difference. Make sure that you guys have sensory acuity and know where your intentions are coming from. Always question your intentions and say it out loud or write it down on paper and then read it. Is there a negative motivation out of that or is it positive? Okay, so there you have it. That's the difference between negative and positive motivation. Again, you wanna operate in this success frequency, this parameter here. You don't wanna be down here because this is just a mess. You're just, you're just spiraling up and down. You're undulating up and down. You're not really getting anywhere. So there you have it. If you guys have any questions, leave some comments below. I wanna know how you got down the path towards a goal and did you reach it or you didn't? Was it coming from a positive motivator or was it coming from a negative motivator? We don't always act out of a positive motivation. In fact, we tend to operate out of a lot of negative motivation. So, um, but that's a whole nother video. So I'd like to know your story. Leave the comment below and I'll see you guys at the next video. Thank you.